Good morning folks, I'm sat in the van this morning because I'm somewhere that perhaps you wouldn't have thought I'd be. That's right, they've opened one of these up in Retford. Oh man, what am I going to do now? We all know that I'm screw fix and tool station addicted. Might be screw fix for a while then, save me a journey across to tool station you see. Friggin screw fix. So we're back and basically what I went for was these stainless steel M5 machine screws to go into the tabletop. So it's all stainless and we can just spill whatever we like on it and wash it down without having to worry about corrosion. And I also picked up some more bits while I was there. Couldn't help myself. They've got a really good deal on at the minute. Two of these sockets for 15 quid. They're 3.1 amps. And of course, being from Screwfix, you can be sure that they're electrically sound. Oh shit! <laughs> yeah, so we're nearly finished uh, you, this stainless steel work table in the corner. Let me just go and kill this music because it's obviously crashing the audio. I wasn't actually going to pick the camera up, but then I realised I've not done nowhere near enough filming today. So I'll show you what we've got so far. We've got Jack underneath at the minute adjusting the legs. There he is. Oh, what a position. Assuming the position, hey, he's under there doing the, the windy up and down on the leg. But look at that for a shiny stainless steel work top. Looks good, doesn't it, still? Hey. I remember all that van. Yeah. I did that. That'll keep EHO happy anyway. So a few finishing touches um, and then we can put that project to bed. I just got to cut a bit of timber to make some packers and then once that's complete we'll move on to tidying the brewery up a little bit and then maybe cold room doors. There we are, so we've got the table in, the worktop in. I'm really sure it looks shit up now, it's all polished. So the next job is uh, to basically basically repopulate everything that we had on it before. So if you can see down there, at the bottom we've got the mesh and on the top we've got lovely shiny stainless steel. And it is pretty shiny as well on the camera. Oh, yes. Look at that. Shall we give it the old, uh, eh? The old Jack, will you paint me shot? That's a reference to Titanic, not actually to uh. you. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I know what you're thinking, and I'm thinking it too. It looks drastic now because the sink's gone. But we had a problem with that sink. It had these legs. It was these. Taken them out, managed to get them to come out. So the aluminium inserts was steel threaded bar through the middle and some type of leg on the end. So of course they're going to seize up, and they have. And people have just snapped the bolts off. This similar metals, young man. So what I'm going to do instead, just down here on the tops of the tubes, is I'm going to get the welder back out. I'm going to put some inch and a half box in there, drop it in, bolt through the middle, and then obviously the bolt on the top like we did do with the other bit of kit over there. So we can just wind a bolt in and out for an adjustable leg. So we'll do that right now. But I ain't got much time because it's gone four o'clock. See if we can get four legs made and welded on within the hour. That'd be an achievement. Let's get friggin' welding. <laughs>
So I welded the legs on. I cut them 100 mil too long. It's the old 100 mil trick. They were only 150 mil. <laughs> so I had to cut them down again and weld the stubs on. What a T-Watt. What an absolute T-Watt I was. But anyway, the sink's back in. We have water. It works. And now, you can really see what I was trying to achieve. So we've got full stainless steel workbench set up all the way around here. And uh, we've got the fridge set up in the corner for the yeasties. They can go back in there. And I think that just looks so much neater. Perfect, really. Plenty of storage. I just need to now bring this shelf across, square it all up, and then same on this side. And then what we're gonna do is drop tiles on there, on that timber, and maybe come up to uh, or three tiles high on the wall. And that should allow us to have a fairly decent splashback and a good area for, you know, wet area, weighing out hops, dry goods, whatever we need to do. So I'm impressed with today's work. Jack the lad's impressed with today's work. Gemma's impressed. We forgot to get rid of the grain. It's starting to hum a little bit, but hopefully Stuart can uh, get it shifted tonight or tomorrow. Is he uh, you unloading all that round corner? Yeah. Yeah. Right, well that's it. We're gonna sign off and we'll pick up the vlog. Tomorrow, which is Friday, you know what that means? Early friggin' finish. I've got a date with this man.